Okay, so let's explore the package. We load it by calling a library called Instructions. R Studio is a bit more comfortable in package exploration because if you want to see what's in a package, you simply click the link of that package. Then ignore that ridiculously large R image that appears in my version here and we scroll down to the overview of package contents. You can click the description file to get information on the package version, package developer and citation information how to acknowledge the use of the package if you use it on data for publication, term papers or thesis. The help pages below the description file give you an overview of what the package contains. The Colostructions package, like many packages, contains two types of objects, functions and datasets. There are three functions for performing simple, distinctive and covariant call exeme analysis and two functions to merge lists of frequencies. The other objects are datasets, which include two frequency lists for verbs from the BNC, one with lemma and one with uh, string frequencies of verbs. And then there are some datasets on selected linguistic phenomena. Behind the links for each object is the object's documentation or help file. For instance, to view what's in the begin to v dataset, click the link. These help files usually contain a short description, and in this case the dataset contains the frequencies of verbs in the open slot of the begin to v pattern, such as begin to feel, begin to take, and so on. Help files usually also contain information on the format of a dataset. In this case, it's a data frame with two columns where the word is in the first column and its frequency in the pattern is in the second. At the end of each help file should be examples to illustrate how the dataset can be used. Functions have similar help pages. Click the name of the function to see what it does. So let's see what this is for the function for simple colexeme analysis. The section on usage tells us what the function's arguments and default values are. These are explained in the section Arguments. A detailed description is in the section Details, and what's under Values explains what the output of the function contains. The section Notes generally provides information on usability. References contain literature suggestions, usually those underlying the method implemented. At the bottom we see some examples on how to use the function and we will run a few of them in the next clip. If you're not working with RStudio, you can access the help file for functions and objects by using a question mark in front of the object name. This will open a new window with the help file. If you're unsure what your package contains, you can list the names of an object in the package with this command.